The Much of the Day host, 57, regularly speaks out on current affairs issues including immigration and foreign policy. Back in 2016, he faced a vicious backlash for a tweet in which he took a swipe at the Conservative Party over the treatment of refugees in Britain. The treatment by some towards these young refugees is hideously racist and utterly heartless. He told his 7.04 million Twitter followers, What's happening to our country? The outburst came after Welsh Tory MP David Davis called for dental checks to verify the age of child migrants. It's absurd for anyone in any walk of life to not be allowed opinions on other matters. Gary Lineker accusations of hypocrisy have since been levelled at the former professional footballer for speaking out about concerns for child migrants and poverty whilst also sending his children to Charterhouse Private School. Asked about the backlash, Gary hit back during an interview with this week's Radio Times. What kind of hypocrisy? He said. Just because I earn a good salary? That doesn't mean I don't have the right to speak as any other person would, he insisted. That's just a silly argument. It's absurd for anyone in any walk of life to not be allowed opinions on other matters. You know, we're all entitled to our opinion, he added it's freedom of speech. Just because I'm a footballer, why shouldn't I have views on whatever I want? Elsewhere, Gary also came under fire last year after the Paradise Papers showed he'd used an offshore firm to buy his £2.2 2 million Barbados mansion. Addressing the revelations made when he was named in the report, the sports pundit told the publication, I didn't mind when I was a player, if I was criticised for my performance, that wasn't a problem. It's when there are falsehoods about me. He continued, when there are obvious lies printed. Read the interview with Gary Lineker in this week's Radio Times, Radio Times, that's when you feel wronged. At the time, he hit back amid claims he saved a fortune by avoiding tax after the Daily Mail published a scathing article which included allegations about a number of businesses that had him listed as an officer in their records, saying they allowed him to avoid paying normal rates of tax. I've always paid my taxes on time and in full, Gary tweeted. The Daily Mail continues its vendetta against me because they don't agree with my views. I will continue to speak up for refugees and immigrants and British values of tolerance and free speech, I won't be bullied by them. Read the full interview in this week's Radio Times, out now. He added. 